Hello everyone, this is Funky Gamer 26 here, and today I'm back with another epic commentary video. Sort of just like a quick one, uh, sort of like a small lead up to my last commentary video, but not really. But today I'm going to be going in depth about why the Gen 6 GTS is very different to the Gen 7 GTS. So today's video, I'm really going to be talking about both the Gen 6 and Gen 7 GTS. Specifically, I want to talk about the traits, um, what makes them different as well. Um, I'm also going to talk about obviously the flaws of the Gen 7 GTS. It's practically the reason why I haven't done Gen 7 for so long, but I'm going to go over it in this video. So, probably one of the more bigger questions I might get asked, I haven't seen it in a while, but I used to get it a fair bit, was why do you do your trades on X and Y and Auras, probably compared to like Sun and Moon or even Pokemon Home or something like that? So my real reason why I do Gen 6 compared to all the other ones is because Gen 6 GTS has a lot less problems than Gen 7, which I'll talk about when I get to the Gen 7 part. But essentially, the Gen 6 GTS for me, it still has a lot of people who can access it, and it also means people can transfer the Pokemon up to high generations if they have pay subscriptions to home or bank or whatever, and they can get it to the new games, and they can still enjoy those Pokemon. Whilst I don't support transferring the Pokemon up unless I've actually done it on Gen 7, just to the fact that the Gen 6 anti-cheat is a bit slack compared to 7, um, you can still probably do it with most Pokemon. I've heard that some of them actually, people have seen them in Sword and Shield. That's pretty cool, but I'm just going to clarify that that is the main reason why I do it on Gen 6, mainly because I like those Pokemon to stay in the 3DS region more than the Switch or Pokemon Home. Another reason why I use Gen 6 is mainly because this is like Pokemon X and Y was the first ever game that I actually owned for my 3DS because I got this when I was like many years ago now. But because of that, it's my first Pokemon game I've enjoyed a lot and it's the main reason why I stick to Gen 6 is because I personally just love the game all over. Now, moving on now because I've practically talked about everything with the Gen 6 GTS giveaway that I like. I'm going to talk about the Gen 7 one. Gen 7 is a dumpster fire of a fucking of a like system. The main reason, as a lot of people would know, is the bans. The bullshit fucking bans that you get if your game gets disconnected online or your game crashes. So going into these bans that can happen, um, the problem is with it with Gen 7 is that whilst I do still give away Pokemon, you can see I do it once every two days now because I got another console. The problem with it is that people can still get disconnected in those trades and still get banned. And I'm gonna put a comment on the screen, obviously I blur this person's name out because I don't want someone to go and harass them because that's not what I'm about. But just this here proves that even the Pokemon that I upload legitimately can still crash people's games and get them banned. Gen 7 as an entire system is pretty much a fucking shithole. It's practically just sucks because it doesn't matter like if you trade my Pokemon, a non-tradable Pokemon, it doesn't matter what you do. If you get disconnected in the trade for either trading the Pokemon at the same time as someone else and they got the data of the Pokemon instead of you, or you just have shit internet, specifically like me because I live in Australia, basically you're fucked. Like if you get disconnected, there's a pretty high chance you're going to get the fucking trade man. And another thing I want to talk about specifically about Gen 7 that isn't a problem on Gen 6 is the trade crash. Now, there's obviously the one where you trade a non-tradable and it fucks your game, but I'm talking about this baked one. This baked one, I'm going to put um, some video footage on here on my hacked console and on a non-hacked one. It basically, what happens is when you look at someone's profile image, once it loads, it will always crash your fucking game. The reason why that's a problem though is because when I'm uploading tradable Pokemon, if you scroll to the back of the tradable Pokemon, half the time it's going to be one of these bullshit Pokemon at the end. It's going to crash your game. And I've seen already that people try to accuse me of doing that. No, it's not me who does that. There's Pokemon at the end of the list. So my recommendation is if you're trading my Pokemon on Gen 7, do not scroll to the back of the Pokemon. Please, I beg you, do not scroll to the back. Just wait a while, make sure I've uploaded a heap of them and trade from around the front or the middle. Do not go to the back of them, otherwise your game will get crashed. So basically, in conclusion, the main reason why I do Gen 6 compared to 7 more often is frankly because Gen 6 somehow in some way is better and it's less fucked than Gen 7. 
Gen 7 has clearly more problems. You can get banned. You can game can just get crashed by viewing someone's fucking profile picture. Um, it also brings a lot of problems, obviously, to my channel because people think I did this on purpose to troll them or think it's funny. Well, I don't. But obviously, if someone who had never seen my channel goes to that Pokemon and they get crashed, obviously, they're going to think I did it. So it's a bit of a problem. I'm still going to do Gen 7. I just wanted to make this video to inform everyone that, yes, there is a couple problems with the Gen 7 GTS compared to Gen 6. Anyway, that's it for now. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all later.